Hey guys, how are you? Day 14, T28 challenge. Hey, almost halfway there. So um, 28 days to a better body, a better mind, better health. I wanted to uh, get on and talk a little bit about um, artificial sweeteners. So in Transformation 28, the book, we really focus on eliminating any kind of processed sugars, grains, um, and really getting quality carbs in the forms of, you know, some vegetables, low glycemic fruit in the forms of maybe some nuts and seeds that have a little bit of carbs in it. A lot of times when I go over this with, uh, with people, uh, they're like, oh, hey, that's great. I don't, I don't eat that stuff anyway, because I consume my diet products and my diet soda. And, um, here's the thing. If you had a choice between diet soda and sugary high fructose corn syrup, uh, soda, I would actually go for the high fructose corn syrup because the artificial sweeteners are actually that bad for you. I wanted to go over with you the not so skinny truth about artificial sweeteners. Diet products and diet drinks are really harmful for you. Now, not only are they harmful for your health, but they also do something that's called uh, metabolic confusion. Anytime that you consume sugar, there's a hormone that gets released from the brain. It's called dopamine. And dopamine is kind of like the ding, 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 ding. Hey, this feels really good. If you ever uh, ate chocolate before and you feel good after eating chocolate, that is dopamine talking inside your brain. What happens is when you consume sugar, you get the ding, ding, ding that goes off in your brain. Dopamine is released. And then when you get the corresponding energy and calories that come with it, um, the brain actually releases another hormone and it's called leptin. And so with the calories, leptin is released and then it gives you that feeling of being full. Here's what happens with artificial sweeteners. They're super sweet. The brain lets off dopamine, ding, ding, ding. But the problem is, is nothing comes with it. There's no calories with it. So therefore, leptin's not released and you don't have this feeling of fullness or satiety, which means you actually get hungrier as a result. Now that you don't have the calories with it, now you're actually searching for where can I get the, these calories from? And it actually shows that people who consume artificial sweeteners actually eat more throughout the day than if they were just consuming sugar in the first place. So this is just how bad it is. In fact, if you think about it, have you ever seen a really healthy person consuming artificial sweeteners, number one, and number two, and have you ever seen a really skinny person consuming artificial sweeteners? You never see it. There are three different artificial sweeteners that are on the market today. Uh, the first one is called sucralose or it's called Splenda. Uh, sucralose or Splenda, they touted it as natural because it's actually derived from sugar. However, it's derived from sugar and then there's goes through 16 different chemical processes to actually come up with sucralose or Splenda. A couple of things that's bad with Splenda. Number one, They've never studied it long term. They don't know what's happening uh, over the course of consuming it for years. Number two, uh, Splenda or sucralose is actually chlorinated. So the thing that's bad about chlorine is this. If you guys go back to your chemistry class and you look on the periodic table, you're going to notice that there's a bunch of elements that line up in the same column. If they line up in the same column, they're chemically similar. And what you see in the same column as chlorine is you see chlorine, fluorine, and you also see something known as iodine. Here's what's really interesting. So these are very chemically identical, not chemically identical, but really similar. And so um, iodine is actually needed to produce thyroxin. Consuming things that, that are chemically similar to iodine, like in fluoride or in chlorine, those two compounds actually compete at those binding sites of the, th of the thyroid, which means it makes it harder for your body to, cons or to produce thyroid. Here's the other thing with, with sucralose or Splenda. They did a 12-week study on rats, and they actually found that when they gave them sucralose or Splenda over the 12 weeks, they had a significantly lower amount of healthy gut bacteria. This is known as your microbiome. And so when you have less healthy gut bacteria, now you have lower immune system. Uh, your digestive system is actually responsible for producing about 80% of your serotonin, about 50% of your dopamine, which means like this can actually affect the brain. So uh, Splenda sucralose, you got to avoid it. The second one that I want to go over with you guys too is going to be called aspartame. Now, aspartame is also an artificial sweetener. You don't see it as often as you did like 10 years ago. And the reason why is because they know that this stuff is just nasty. Aspartame out of the thousands of different food additives that are registered with the FDA, aspartame has gotten actually a majority of the complaints. So that's how bad it is. The thing with aspartame and the reason why this is so bad is that aspartame, this artificial sweetener, one is, once it's actually put inside the body, it actually breaks down into what's known as free glutamate. 
And glutamate is actually an excitatory neurotransmitter, which means that it can excite the gastrointestinal system and it also excites the brain. Now, most of the complaints with aspartame actually come from that are neurological. So this glutamate, which is an excitatory neurotransmitter, it just makes the brain and the neurons just constantly doing this. So what happens is these neurons just get fatigued because they're constantly just getting stressed all the time. This is why a lot of the complaints are actually associated with things like multiple sclerosis, uh, vision problems, brain fog, blindness, um, things like that. Now, there's also other studies that actually show this link to things like leukemia or and uh, colon cancer and things like that. This is another one that you completely, completely avoid at all costs. Here's the third one because uh, the food industry gets, re they get really smart and they realize that people catch on. So what they do is they just come up with new ones. And one of the newer ones is actually called Asulfame Potassium, also known as ACE-K. You'll see this, a lot of times it's combined with aspartame, but Asulfame Potassium uh, actually, again, is another chlorinated artificial sweetener. One of the main ingredients in it is actually methylene chloride, okay? So methylene chloride is known as a volatile organic compound. Volatile organic compounds are poison. And so this specific volatile organic compound can cause things like nausea, mood problems, some types of cancer, impaired liver and kidney functions, problems with eyesight. And actually there's research that show that this is even linked to autism. The other thing is too, 2017, they actually, research actually showed that ACE-K caused weight gain and affected the gut bacteria in mice. It actually causes weight gain, these artificial sweeteners, but not only that, is that you're putting chemicals inside your body that the body doesn't identify that can actually cause problems, gut problems, neurological problems, and things like that. So the skinny on it is that it doesn't make you skinny, it makes you put on weight, and it makes you sicker. So stop using these artificial sweeteners. Now, I know this begs the question, people say, hey, what do I do now um, with my sweeteners? Well, tomorrow I'm gonna go over with you the top natural sweeteners and some of the ones that people think are natural that aren't all that good for you. And I'll go over those with you tomorrow. So enjoy uh, day 14, T28 challenge. I'll see you on day 15.